Okay, let's talk about the VPT, or more commonly known as the Virginia Placement Test. So if you're watching this video, I assume you are studying uh, the Virginia Placement Test. And specifically, we're going to be talking about um, the math that you're going to encounter on the VPT. And uh, again, if you're watching this video, you're obviously taking this exam to get into college, so that's excellent. Um, so what I'm going to be doing here is taking a look at a math problem that you should definitely be able to handle uh, if you expect to do pretty well on the VPT. But before we get going, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and along with that, I've constructed many courses, online courses, through the years. I actually offer an excellent VPT uh, math prep course. I'll leave the link to that in the description of this video if you want to check that out. But uh, more importantly, I want to really kind of help you um, get prepared for um, is doing as best as you can on the VPT math section because this is definitely going to impact you because these placement exams, if you don't really do the best you can on them, you can very well likely um, end up in a math class that's below where you need to be. Okay, and that's going to cost you time and money. So it really, um, you know, uh, is in your best benefit to study hard for these exams and do really, really well. So it's not enough to kind of just rest on your past history in terms of math. Let's say you, you did really good in algebra or geometry, and you're like, yeah, that was a couple years ago. I did well. You know, it all kind of come back to me. That's not going to be the case because there's a considerable amount of math on the VPT. So I would classify it, uh, again, as high school level mathematics and some advanced high school level uh, mathematics. So you're going to have to be very strong with algebra, geometry, and other uh, topics as well. So here is a very easy problem here, okay, uh, basic algebra. And of course, I'm going to, uh, uh, before I solve it, I want to give you a chance to solve it. Let me go ahead and tell you what I want you to do. So here we have two coordinates, two x, y coordinates, okay? And I'd like you to find the slope, okay, between these two uh, points on the x, y plane, okay? Now the slope is often uh, denoted by this little variable um, m here, okay, lowercase m. So go ahead and find the slope between these two points. And um, even if you're not quite sure what to do, try to think about it at least a little bit before I solve it. Okay, so hopefully you paused the video and gave this a whirl. Again, this is a very basic level um, algebra problem. Okay, it's something that you definitely should be able to know how to do. But let's go ahead and actually go ahead and uh, uh, solve it. So here, just a quick review. All right, these are x, y points on the coordinate plane. So in other words, this is going to draw a little plane here, x, y axis. So here's x, and here is y, and we call these ordered pairs. So these um, define various locations on, or various points, a location of points on the xy plane. So this is what we refer to these as, as points or coordinates or ordered pairs. They all basically mean the same thing. But when we want to find the slope between two points, we want to find the difference uh, between the y coordinates over the difference of the x coordinates. But this is really the rise over the run between these two points. So again, this should be review. I don't want to turn this into a whole algebra lesson on the slope, and this is a big uh, topic in algebra. But um, hopefully, you know, this is kind of coming back to you. So let's let's assume for a moment that you kind of forgot how to do this, but now, you know, with my little hint here, you kind of remember what to do. So at any time, I would definitely encourage you to uh, pause the video and go ahead and see if you can do it. Okay, so what we need to do is find the rise, and we want to divide it by the run. And the way we're going to find the rise is we're going to find the differences of the y-coordinates. So here are the y-coordinates. Let's go ahead and highlight these here with a different color. Okay, so these are our y's, okay? And while we're at it, let's go ahead and define where the x's are at. These are our x's right here, okay? So the differences... The rise is going to be uh, the difference in the y direction, and the run is the difference in the x direction. So let's go ahead and calculate the slope now. So here we have 2 and we have negative 4. So let's go ahead and subtract 
2. Okay, we're finding the difference. This means the change of. So it's going to be 2 minus what? Well, it's going to be minus this 4 right here, this negative 4. So this is a very, very um, a frequent place where students make some mistakes. They'll, they'll just put minus 4, thinking, oh, that there's already a negative sign conveniently <laughs> for that 4 right there. But no, that's not the case. You have to put negative 4 like this. All right, so here is the difference of the y's. Now, that's the first kind of common mistake when you're dealing with uh, positive and negative values. The second one is this. Because I started with this 2 value, okay, I started with this point's information first. So now when I calculate the run, I have to start with this point's information first in the denominator. So in other words, I have to put negative 1 here, and then we'll subtract that from the 3. Okay, so very, very important. Easy to make mistakes um, when calculating a slope, but extremely important in algebra. So let's go ahead and finish this up. So 2 minus and minus 4 is going to be 2 plus 4, okay, and then uh, negative 1 minus 3 is going to be what? Negative 4, and let's go ahead and just keep simplifying this. So 2 plus 4 is 6 over a negative 4, so our value is going to be what? Negative, we can go ahead and reduce this fraction, negative 3 halves, all right, let's put that negative value right here. This is our slope, okay? So calculating the slope, again, very basic. Um, algebra prom, it's definitely something that you would need to know um, this and beyond for the VPT uh, math section. So if you got this right, that's excellent, okay? Um, if you didn't get it right, but you kind of remembered, you know, how to do this, that's good too, but you're going to have to brush up and you're going to have to put a considerable amount of work into, you know, reviving all your math skills. If you were kind of completely lost, then that's just, you know, more feedback. You're going to have to do more work here, but again, basic level math uh, that, you know, if you're going into college, you've definitely taken this math before. So you may not remember it, but you definitely took it. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up uh, this video. So at the time of this video, actually, I've been on YouTube for a good 12 years. I have hundreds and hundreds of math videos on my channel. Definitely going to help you out on the VPT. So hopefully you consider subscribing and I'm posting new content all the time. If you enjoyed the video, I'd definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. Um, what college are you applying to? Or what degree program um, are you interested in? Um, you know, any feedback is good feedback. Maybe what was the uh, uh, highest level math you took in high school? So any comments would be appreciated. And then last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to my VPT uh, math prep course uh, in the description of this video. All my math courses are super comprehensive. Um, actually, all of them would take me years uh, to build. So high quality math courses definitely would be benefit you on the VPT uh, test. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your college endeavors. Thank you for your time and have a great day.